Hello everyone. So, welcome to this course. So, I have modeled this and after that I have just do the rigging. So, in this session we will do the posing inside Maya application. So, let's start. Before going to posing, you should have reference. So, I have taken some references as you can see here. So, I will pose like this and if you see the anatomy, if I go to brush and if you see the anatomy here, you have uh, the body which is you can say uh, it is quite slider and also you have to define the most you can say the most contrasting part of the body. As you can see this hand is one of the most contrasting part and if you uh, look at the anatomy and one more thing is that in every part as you can see all the images it has some contrasting part as this is the T form and this hand belongs to that contrasting part okay same for this and this leg so each and every part should have one more contrasting part that means that would be much more focused and like this okay so as you can see here also so this would be the contrasting part as it is following down here and after that here so that's the contrasting part so you have to examine your contrasting part so that's the contrasting part that means if you are uh, working in contrasting part it would be in this center that means each and every body have of a character or even anything if you are working in animal also the uh, front facing part which is this side and this side so this would have uh, the first look and after that the whole body you can look at that means your eye will go in this part so you have to define that part so i have couples of more references as you can see that would be a good example this leg especially this leg is the main source after that, that you will see the hand part so each and every figure has its own uh, you can say the uh, main contrasting feature or the main contrasting part that means your eye will go directly over here so in this you have see this would be the part and here this is the here this one here this one so your eye will first go and okay one more thing if this part uh, uh, is the contrasting one it could be another also that means it, it doesn't have that means it is not matter that only one part will sh uh, you can look at only one part there could be a two or more uh, contrasting part as we can see over here and okay so we have taken couples of references and what we will do we'll go to Maya and select the references and we will pose at least three three type of poses so as you can see this is the fight scene so we'll take the fight scene from here as you can see most of the figure your first view will go to its leg especially the legs so like this way you can work and this is also a fight scene so we'll take some amount of fight scene it doesn't matter if the anatomy is not matching to your model it doesn't matter what you have to see the joint especially the joints if you know how to just manage the joints and all you can easily work as you can see this is the joint this would be the bone and it's slightly over there this would be the pelvis and th there would be the leg there would be the joint like this you you can follow so it doesn't matter that your anatomy is not matching to your model so we shall start the work now what i will do i will take the, uh, the reference of any of them and we'll start working on the same so at first i will take the simple reference so that you may have the idea that how you can just go through the same so i will save it so as you can see most of the references are simple here so we will start from simple and we'll go to the most complicated one like this okay so let's continue what i will do i will minimize the photoshop and we'll go to the pose reference and what i will do i will just select this and we'll go to maya and what i will do one more thing is that i have to go to the front 
and we'll go to polygon and just create the uh, plane so just for reference i'm taking it okay so plane has been created because the interactive selection is off we'll rotate it by 90 we'll put 90 and after that we don't require this amount of segments so we'll go to inputs and here you have the segments like 10 10 so i will just have only one because we only have to just set this for reference purpose and we'll decrease the size so i will not just follow uh, the exact diameter uh, your dimensions of it because i just need the image to be over here and just do uh, by looking at the reference okay so what we will do right click go to assign new material and here you have the uh, lambert and in lambert if you go to attribute you have the lambert here here you have the color so as we have discussed earlier in texturing classes if you click over here now you have the another node which is called create render node so now you have the file feature click over here now it changed to file attributes okay file one and inside it you have the image name and here you have the folder click over here and what you will get you will get that dialog box which will uh, uh, just uh, direct you to go to your uh, reference and just select that particular reference one okay so I think you have just set it in okay we have saved it okay uh, we'll select if you select you can see the reference over here okay just open now it's not showing so to see the reference to so see the texture which is basically a texture press 6 now it's showing here and that's that's good it's not showing in the perspective so what we will do we'll press 6 and now it's showing okay so this would be the uh, reference so what I will do, I will just rename this REF ref, and all the things are there in my particular group. As you can see here, we have the uh, model as well as the connectors, which is this part. The uh, you can say the curved parts, which is over here. You can made it from here, as we have discussed in rigging sections. So now I will turn this off. We don't require the outliner because uh, we will work in the poses and we'll select any of the poses so let's start this is one of the most simple so as you have to look at your pose at first and what do you have to do just go to the perspective and just uh, select the file like if you select the particular section just move it like this and select this part move it like this and okay so that means you have to just check the reference and after that you have to work So at first I will select uh, the simple, uh, you can say the rig, uh, the simple cut. So at first I will select the simple reference. So 
this would be the simple reference and you can work in the same so what we will do or you can also work in that particular so we'll just select the section of the controllers and just move like like this and after that we'll select this controllers also we'll move like this and as you can see it's quite tilted as the hand will be like that and it will be like that little bit of okay and now we have to work in the fingers so this would be like this so you have to just look at the reference and just pose the same and just select this part move it like here and select this part move it that means you have to work by looking at your reference and just work for the same so that will take some amount of time but after that you may have a good result okay now it is little bit of tilted so I will select this will tilt this like and the this shoulder will go high and as compared to this one and also especially this part will also do the same Just select each and every joint, just move by looking at your reference. Make sure that it will not overlap like this. So what I will do, just control Z or if you are in Mac, you should press shift Z and after that, okay fine and that to work for the feet. So for feet, what I will do,
होप यू अंडरस्टैंड द सेम लेट्स मीट टू दी नेक्स्ट सेशन